Christopher Wren in Kicking Horse uh, in 2020 was just amazing. His run was so fluid, as always for Christopher, but this one was just perfect for me. He went so fast and the features he took were just super clean. It's really impressive. And what made it epic is the flow of it. It's, uh, kept at our edge of our seat the whole time. It's really fast. And uh, the precision of the last cliff was really good. It had perfect transition. Considering the five pretty rows in the judging side, I would say the air inside and the control were the best because uh, his first backflip was just perfect and the takeoff was quite tricky there. And then I think the hair is taking the first feature, the, the middle feature was perfect and then the second one was gigantesque. So air and style and for sure the control. As a judge, we really like the flow of the run. It's flowy and fast. Um, no downtime. It's really good. Only issue was maybe the landing of the backflip. Really doubt a bit, but still the best run of the day. Well, it can't be much more fluid than that. Didn't stop fast the whole time. Good technique, good control, nice features, backflip. It's definitely a complete run. I think uh, his back slap on the first back key was just kind of normal because it went so big and it was super deep over there. So compared to the landing and compared to the axe that he took, this back slap, his back slap was just okay and I think the judges didn't took him off to too much points for that, which is totally normal on my highs. I think the landing of the backflip could have been better obviously, but lost some points there, but the overall run still made it epic. If I had done something differently, it would be nothing. <laughs> I think I would have done nothing different and I could have couldn't have been better on this one. <laughs>